Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of All Things Zombie Reloaded from Lock and Load Publishing. It's a reprint of All Things Zombie. Um, uh, it can be played solitaire, it can be played with multiple players. Um, originally by Two Hour War Games, and they've taken it and uh, given it the new Lock and Load treatment and uh, sprucing it up a little bit. So we'll quickly do a shrink rip. As soon as you get inside. Fun to watch shrink wrap being pulled. Now I, if you follow me at all, am not really a fan of zombies. Um, uh, definitely not the amount of uh, dislike that I have for, say, a fantasy, magic fantasy genre. Uh, the zombies kind of been overplayed, um, but I'm not against giving them a try. I did try uh, Zombicide, uh, which was interesting, so uh, I'm, I'm definitely open to trying it if it's a good game. So let us see what we got. Some very interesting artwork. Um, definitely sets the sets the mood of the game. So. Right off, two dice, 16, saga cards, get the player off there, and as you lose the light, lose the wire anyway, there we go, so, the cards, are interesting. They are not the standard cards. They look like cut. Good noise here. It's like cut cardstock. They are squared off, which is an interesting choice. They've been shrink a while too. So, uh, so we have some event cards. We have. Thin cards with character cards. These are very thin cardstock, coated. Nice coating on them, but uh, we're definitely uh, a little on the thin side. Definitely gonna want to sleeve these, and I may even actually hit these with a corner rounder just to take that hard edge off, because otherwise they're gonna get marked pretty quick. So you got events that happen. I know nothing about this game, but I will be learning very soon. Get cards. The manual, just like most of the re recent uh, lock and load, it's a nice square blunt binding, not a uh, not the stapled that you expect. Creepy guy right there at the beginning. Uh, it appears to be about 48 pages. Very slick. It wants to slide around on me. Uh, I've got some rules. Oh, apparently there were miniatures. All things on me. 50 pages, 50, 51, 52, with the, uh, with the glossary there at the end. So if you flip through, it's definitely the uh, very nice, well laid out, uh, new lock and load style that I uh, really like a lot. Seems to have some graphics here describing the rules, sight tests, insight. Um, so this is actually just the manual to learn the system. So I guess there's going to be, uh, I don't see any scenarios in here. Oh, nope, there's campaigns. So it just describes the rules for campaigns. Looks like there's probably going to be a scenario book in here. Let's find out. Interaction tables, play reaction card, different things that happen, different classes. Two sided and some really nice artwork. Interesting style. Which combat table. Two sided. Only seems to be one of each. Movement tables. Good, uh, this is like good quality coated cardstock. I really like this. Very sturdy. 
Alright, so now we have our maples. There are six of them. Urban, suburban, urban, rural, so for buildings, and a few suburban, another rural. So three, three types: suburban, rural, and urban. Two of each. Uh, nice artwork. Nice artwork, clearly defined spaces. Uh, we're obviously going to learn more about what these symbols mean as we learn the game. Good quality again, it's very thick. I don't know if you're going to combine these or if everything plays out on one map. But we'll find out soon. Baggy for your counters, don't use those, use a tray. And then this is interesting here. Without the Counter sheet. It's a single counter sheet. Good quality. Interestingly, the title of the counter sheet is cut off, but the counters all seem to be aligned. So don't know how that worked. Uh, there is only one set of counters. The alignment seems pretty good. They're all about three quarters of an inch size. We'll pop one out. They as is typical with the current uh, mock and load printing, whatever they've secured, you get these great counters. Great. They also have a coated feel, very thick, very sturdy chipboard. Uh, pretty awesome. So there's a baseball bat. I don't know if you can see that or not. Got lots of zombies. Obviously, the different levels. Lots of heroes. Lots of weapons. Lots of supplies. What else do you need in a zombie game? Except health. That health right here. Stay alive. So, anyway, that is what you get. And all things zombie reloaded. Looks like a looks like a pretty interesting game. We'll give it a shot here soon. Thanks for watching.